Hello, today's topic is site modification. After creating our topo surface, we need very much to create our building pad. It is added to our topo surface to form the base of our building. So we would hit massing and site, building pad. Rivet would ask me which view do we need. So I would choose floor plan site. Open that view. I'm sketching the building path. And this is its type. Moving to site component. To add site components, we can place site specific components such as trees, utilities, pole, and fire hydrants in a site plan by hitting massing and site tab and then site component I can click here or for any other type of tree I can go load family I prefer US metric and go to planting These are the types of trees. I would open that one for example. And to load fire hydrant for example, you need to go to site component, load family. We need to go to site instead of planting. After site, we go utilities, fire hydrant, for example, open. For adding parking components, we also hit massing on site, parking component. These are the type of parking spaces. These are the created parking spaces. Finally, site modification notes. Note 1. Split surface. Split surface. We use that tool to split a topo surface into distinct surfaces and then edit those surfaces independently. After splitting a surface, we can assign different materials to these surfaces to depict roads, lakes, plazas, or hills. Hit Massing and Site tab, Split Surface, select our topo surface. This is my drawing tool to split the surface. Finish Edit Mode. The topo surface got splitted. Consequently, I can apply a specific material to that portion of my topo surface. Click Properties Material by Category. Click on that small box. Realistic Visual Style. This is my grass. Note 2. Subregion. Topographic subregion is similar to split surface, but it requires a closed loop sketch instead of the open loop sketch required by split surface. Massing and site. Subregion. This is my closed loop. Also from properties, material, asphalt, for example. Okay. The asphalt region of my site. Note 3. Label contours. Massing site, label contours. Notice that only that contour has been labeled. To fix that problem, massing site, go to site setting, 
and change the intervals of contours to be for example 0.5 meter apply ok all contours have been labeled note 4 the back filling in the site setting we will find earth basically it is the back filling of our site earth set that to be minus 2 instead of minus 8 and notice what would happen apply ok by this we come to the end of our topic today please like this video if you find it helpful Thank you.